Your little daily Bible today, Proverbs 22, 6, Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are back talking about Pat being past the point of no return. And I've been thinking about this the past couple weeks, days, whatever. Uh, we are now on the cusp of having the first generation enter the workforce who has grown up on the entire woke agenda. And there's something that that does to your brain, right? When you've been told your entire life that something is right and something else is wrong, when you become an adult, you don't change your mind about that very often, if ever, right? When you have grown up your entire life and had a set of values reinforced at home and at school and on the television and in the books you read and in the shows you watch and with your friends and you're everywhere, when it's everywhere and you've grown up in that kind of culture, well, of course you're going to believe that. Why wouldn't you? It'd be weird if you didn't. And we are now getting to a point where we have an entire generation who has been raised on ideals of what race relations should look like and what wealth means and who deserves it, right? We have this entire agenda being pushed on people's minds in school and they've grown up on that, what your pronouns are. And now that generation is gonna start entering the workforce very soon, right? The, the generation that's in college, you have people going to med school who announce their pronouns. Think about that. You have people who you are supposed to trust with your medical health who cannot tie the difference between a man and a woman. The most basic biological thing that we've based most medicine off for hundreds of years, maybe thousands, you have people who can't tell the difference with that and they're gonna be your doctor. You cannot, a society cannot survive that. It cannot survive a generation of people who choose to believe, make believe fairyland things and replace that with reality. Reality won't change, but if you choose to believe things that aren't true, reality will wreck your nation because you have a group of people collectively choosing to believe something that isn't true. And it used to be, I'm a millennial and, and you know, it was like, oh, when the millennials grow up, they're really going to figure out how the world works and they're going to stop their whining and they're going to stop their complaining and whatever. And yeah, some of that happened a little bit here and there. But now the millennials have made way for the generation below us. And our, my generation is super sympathetic to, to the leftist agenda. And now you've had a generation of kids, again, raised on that leftist agenda that are about to come into the workforce and they're not going to give their ideas up. And my generation will be more than happy to accommodate them and give up any notions of reality or facts or objectivity in order to cater to the agenda because we don't want to fight. And when you have a generation like that that's going to run things, that's going to get elected to state senator positions and become mayors and become you know, federal government senators and become whatever, CEOs and team leads and all these things in society, when they are the CEO of a bank, and they're your doctor, and they're your kid's teacher, your society is doomed. Because it's going to choose to believe things that aren't true in place of reality, and reality will not bend. Instead, we will break. Eventually, in 50 or 60 or 100 years or whatever, people look back on this and be like, I can't believe people believe those insane things, right? Why would they have done that? But right now, they do believe that, and they're refusing to reconcile that with reality because that would make you look weird. And when you have a society that's going to make the collective suicide pact, you're past the point of no return. All you can do is prepare for what comes after. Do brave deeds and endure. That's, that's basically the, the equivalent of what's going on.